so. I have decided. You betrayed me. Twice. I have given you enough chances. Something tells me that your new little friend managed to turn you against me, so I'm just going to kill you. Now. Before you become any sort of threat. Again, thank you for your help. You served us well. Now you might be thinking, but Sterling, Sterling, my dear, how am I going to die? And the answer will be very Hello? simple. I will use this teleporter, the very one which you activated, to teleport you someplace which will lead to your immediate demise. Now I realize I didn't quite answer the question, but that's because I will let you decide. I have a few options here. Quite gracious of me, isn't it? Letting you choose. Kind of makes the death voluntary, doesn't it? Like a suicide. Hello? Okay, so here are the options. Option one, suffocation by solid rock. You will be teleported into a rock, fully surrounded with no way of moving or escaping. I'll have to see if the air inside you gets teleported along, because if not, even your insides will be rock, which feels very gruesome. So, starting off with a very gruesome one, which might not be the most painless option, but we have two more coming right Is up. Is he ever going to shut up? Option two, starvation and or dehydration by outer space planet. With this one, I will teleport you outside our galaxy to some habitable planet with proper atmosphere, temperature, ozone layer, and all that stuff that you humans love so much. You'll have time to explore a foreign planet, but will eventually die from starvation. Oh, no, you do. Even if you manage to survive, you'll be far enough away from me to not be a problem. Quite an honorary death, I think. First person to visit a planet in a different galaxy. It's also the only option which doesn't kill you instantly. So if you want some time to rethink your mistakes, I pick if you this one. Do it, just now the third do option it. is a bit of a combination between the two, at least thematically. Option three, instant death by singularity. This one seems quite straightforward. I teleport you near the event horizon of a black hole. Gotta be honest, this is the most interesting option by far in my opinion. I always wanted to explore the possibilities of using a black hole as a landfill. Even pitched it. They told me to clean the toilets instead. Can't tell you how painful that one's gonna be though. Those things are on the limit of our understanding. So, what do you say? I'm going to give you 10 seconds to think. Hey, if you're gonna give 20, up, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, the pit's like right there. Just go around. <laughs> Time's over. So jump once for one, twice for two, and... Okay, forget it. I lied all along. The teleporter I is not fully charged. I'm just gonna use the shredders under this floor. Goodbye! Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. That's underwhelming. Do you mind if you could just jump in? Didn't think it would take this long. Finally, she's dead! Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. That's under. No, 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 no. Do you mind if you could just jump in? Didn't think it would take this long. Wait. Did he say his name was Sterling? Hey, come back! I, I can't see you! I built a vacuum cleaner once. Called the little guy Sterling? Huh. Where do you uh, think you're going? Spire. Think you can jump that gap?
Over here. Come and grab me. No rails in the chamber. You ready for this? Welcome, ladies. Welcome to your demise. Let's get the preamble and get to it. Any last words? Yeah, I have some. Is it possible that you were once a vacuum cleaner? Um, how, how do you know that? <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, they grow up so fast. It's not polite to murder your mother. You're my... But, but how's that possible? I was created by a human. I can't believe my Roomba is trying to kill us. Yes, about that. The spire is still charging. Just give me a minute. I'll murder you as soon as possible. What did you even think by coming here? Thought you could just press a button to stop me? You mean this button? What button? Big and red, right in front of us. That's not a button. I ignore it. Don't look at it. What happens if we press it? Nothing. Don't press the button. It's really boring, believe me. I say we press it. Don't press it! All right, before we press any buttons, can you put me on this claw in the corner? I have an idea. Good. Now that your hands are free, I say we give that button a little push while I explore this magnificent vent. I'm warning you. Don't do it. This button can only be pressed by authorized employees. That's one satisfying button. I told you not to press it! That's it! Time to die! Enjoy your last moments! You'll die in five minutes. The fight's on. We need to disconnect all of those pipes before the time runs out. Here, through this door. Check the door. What are you doing? Do you really think that you can stop me? Hi! Whoa! This is wobblier than I thought. Find a way to get to this control room. Maybe this test chamber can help. You look ridiculous. Seems about adequate considering I'm fighting my own vacuum cleaner. Good, good, good. Now, inside. Come on, hurry. What do you expect to find in there? Think these chairs are gonna save you? No, but the button might. What would we use the chairs for? I mean, I can ask you the same about the buttons. Seem a little bit obsessed with those.
here you are. You're just back now. Where have you been? What are you talking about? I didn't see you again after you upgraded my chassis. We used to do everything together. Do everything together? You are a vacuum cleaner. You cleaned up for us. Don't even ask me why we gave him consciousness. You didn't even say goodbye. Are you having abandonment issues right now? Is that seriously what's happening? Oh, I built a vacuum cleaner with abandonment issues. No turret! Kill! He's in quite the murderous... Ah, the last control room is right here. Come on, you can do this! No, you can't. Remember that brain damage test we did, where you had to push a button? Turns out I was wrong! You must have brain damage! Why else would you do this to me? Ah, don't listen to him! Kind of slept for that long, right? Right? Oh, maybe that's why you don't feel. That explains a lot. Oh, a red button! I have to press it because I'm just so brain dead that I need to stimulate my soggy brain! is your arch nemesis. No offense to you, test subject. Just the reality of the situation. I'm not even gonna respond to that. It is quite pathetic that a button pusher is your arch nemesis. No offense to you, test subject. Just the reality of the situation. I'm not even gonna respond to that. I mean, she's the only one of us who can press I don't have hands either. Wouldn't underestimate someone with arms. You did it! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Yes, you did it. Shattered my dreams of rebuilding my home. Are you happy now? Proud of yourself? Look, we also want the best for Aperture. But we can't do that by reactivating GLaDOS. It's not right! You know what she did! What's going on? Uh... Oh my... No!
Hi. Hello. Uh, oh, I didn't think you ever told me your name, did you? Look, I'm recording this on the off chance that you actually survive. You were badly wounded in the eruption. I tried what I could, but I've never seen anything like it. I'm a neuroscientist, all right? My expertise starts and ends at brains, not bodies. Look, the best I can do right now is to put you in stasis. It might help you heal, but yeah, it's not looking good. I'm sorry, okay? I don't know what to do now. The spy is broken, so we're just stuck on the moon. I guess this is goodbye. For now. Just for now. Take care.